A transaction is an exchange or trade between two people or groups. In a transaction, one person or group trades a good, service, or money for another good, service, or money. Buying an ice cream cone, trading a lollipop for a chocolate bar at lunch, or earning an allowance when you do your chores are all transactions. Let's use buying ice cream to see how a transaction actually works, first with paper money, then digital money, then crypto. Okay, let's start with paper money. Imagine you have $5 in your wallet and the ice cream man has $50 in his wallet. The ice cream cone you want to buy from the ice cream man costs $3. You buy the ice cream and after this transaction, you end with $2 in your wallet and one ice cream cone in hand. The ice cream man ends up with $53 in his wallet and one last cone in his truck. Now let's look at this same transaction with a digital version of traditional money. This time you purchase the ice cream cone by swiping your credit card. During this transaction, three digital dollars move from your bank account to the ice cream man's bank account, ending up with the same result. $2 left in your bank account and ice cream in hand, and $53 in the ice cream man's account. In this digital money example, no physical money changed hands, but both of your bank accounts ended up reflecting the new balances. This is possible because behind the curtain, your bank and the ice cream man's bank talk to each other, checking to make sure the transaction is valid. First, they made sure you actually have $3 in your bank account to give the ice cream man. And once confirmed, both banks recorded the transaction and updated the bank accounts to show the new balances. Here, banks act as a central group that both you and the ice cream man can trust to verify the transaction. We call this a centralized exchange. Now let's explore this same scenario, but using crypto. Let's say you want to buy an ice cream NFT from a Web3 artist that costs $3 worth of crypto. When you pay the artist those $3 worth of crypto, both of your crypto wallets automatically update to show your new balances. Again, no physical money actually exchanged hands, but both of your crypto wallets ended up showing new balances. The big difference in this last example is that the exchange happened without any central party, like a bank verifying the transaction. Instead, it was verified by the peer-to-peer -peer network, many different independent computers all over the world. This is called a decentralized exchange. All the computers look at the same blockchain to make sure you have the money necessary for the transaction in your account. And once confirmed, add the transaction between you and the ice cream man to the blockchain so new balances are recorded. The blockchain can't be changed and is open for everyone to see, enabling everyone to trust it.